What's up? Good morning, everybody. The time is... You see that? That's what time it is. My Richard Milley says is... Go time. <laughs> now, I'm just chilling. I was talking to my girlfriend. I, uh, I just got out of jail. So... Fuck, everything came to a halt. All the Cal Poly, all the students at Cal Poly, they all graduated. And DoorDash took a crash, bro. And I didn't have any extra fucking plan B or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I'm all dirty. Been wearing, I was wearing this shit when I got busted. So Murphy's Law attacked me, but Murphy's Law should be really called Miracle Law because every time something bad happens to me, a really good fucking thing happens to me right after so I went to jail and I thought maybe there'll be more subscribers, but there wasn't. And that's totally cool. Because I like earning my shit. And I, when I interact with someone, for example, if I tell you to subscribe, I want you to remember me. Because I want to bless you when that time comes. And if you need something, I want to be like, here you go, bro. Or here you go, homegirl. Or here you go, my boy. You know, or whatever. So, um, yeah, so like, um. Um, yeah, I can't tell you what city I'm in, but that's just for the safe, the sake of safety, because I, I do have a lot of haters, like, I, they're, well, you know, you know, I got an ex-wife that, you know, that she, she could be, you know, trouble when she wants to be, that's one of the reasons why I kind of, you know, like, I'm in trouble, but that's not why I was in trouble this time. So, this is what happened. Um, I was going to go to school, right? So, I'll just tell you the story. Um, I was going to go pick up my massage table, my oils, and my laptop. And I was going to finish up the two months I have left for school. But, um, for some reason... After I bought my new outfit and I was it was all said and done, I was running late and they're cool with it. So I'm going and by the time I'm like by Santa Maria, coming from Santa Barbara, my car overheats and I'm like, what? I'm like, you're gonna act up, G Force. That's what I that's why I named my car, cause it gives you whiplash when I hit the gas, you get whiplash. But anyway, so I'm like, man. So I call my girl. And I'm like, I don't have no money. I, I have money, but like barely enough for gas or whatever. And my girl pays for the repair and shit like that. Um, and then I end up getting back on the road, right? And I love my girl. I only know her for like a month. And God is good. You know, my ex-wife told me I would never find anybody. I have too much mental health issues. I have... You know, I'm a loser, all this dumbass shit. And she's the, she's the one, you know, doing loser things, you know. Like, I won't talk about her because that's her business. But, you know, like, she's not winning, I don't think, because a winner doesn't bother people and threaten people and shit like that. Anyway, fast forward. So I was going to head out. Head out and then it got late and I called I said I'm not gonna make it to pick my equipment up but school started tomorrow the next day and I'm like fuck so they know I'm not gonna show up for that so I'm like okay fuck it I'll, um, I'll show up tomorrow I'll get my equipment I'll be an hour late for school start but I'll show up so I got my repair done and you know my girl paid for it perfect I, I get on the road and it fucking overheated again so not only, I mean, the part that I swapped out, that I had swapped out, was broken, but I think the water pumps out. And it's common, you know, it happens, you know, things get old, and you replace them, that's it. You solve the problem, you fix it, you know? Find the problem, solve the problem, add the solution, you know, rinse, repeat. Anyway, so, um, I'm heading to where I need to go, to GLOW and grow which is cool you know and my new girlfriend she's like totally supportive and like totally opposite of what i what i used to have to go through just to go to school you know it was always like oh you know like you want to go and touch 
rub women down with oil and I'm like damn fucking right I do why wouldn't I want to fucking do that shit that's my job and I'm good at it you know and so excuse my my bags or whatever I fucking I need a spa day I need a fucking you know but anyway so um she's supportive and shit you know and I love that about her so I'm at the rest area and I'm, like, talking to her for a couple hours. And I'm, like, fuck, you know, I don't know. You know, I may, might not really see you that much because I'm going to be at school. But we could talk on the phone. But she's still supportive. She's, like, no, don't worry. You're just going to go to school. You'll be back, like, right? You know, like, and I can visit you. And I'm, like, you'd visit me? And she said, like, yeah. And I'm, like, what the? I'm, like, who the fuck are you? I'm, like, she has to be a spy. Because <laughs> he's just way too nice and helpful. But. No, it's just God. You know, it's a blessing. She's a blessing. And I need her. She needs me. Well, we don't really need each other, but we want each other because we could use the company and we're attracted to each other. You know, like triple D breasts, nice triple D symmetrical breasts. Like, you really can't go wrong, you know? And I'm like, dude, I'm like, you can't go wrong. Like, you know, I'm like, so I'm like, okay, cool. Run that shit. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, we have other things in common, but she's kind of like a weirdo. I'm like a public weirdo type of person. And then, like, well, you know, wild or whatever. You can, you can call me whatever you want. Just call me something. And then, But she's like a, like a Christian, like, but underground, wild, weirdo, whatever you call. And remember, I'm a weirdo, but I'm real, though. So, anyway, um, I had to turn around because... I, I started taking out, it was late, and then, um, don't get mad at me for saying this, but I have to be honest, because this is my channel, and I am changing my life, but I got insecure towards the end, and I'm like, ah, it's not going to work, blah, 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 whatever, I'm not, and then, anyway, so I said, babe, I'll just, I'll talk to you later, you know, you have a great evening, you know, because I get insecure, because I can't keep an eye on her, but I don't need to keep an eye on her, I got to trust her, and give her a chance, so chop it up, cha 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 cha. I get my big straw, and I jump on the highway, and I'm like, oh, to the Batmobile. I'm like, okay, um, and I gotta get rid of the shit before I get there because I needed to drive though. It's late, and I hadn't gotten good rest, and I needed to drive a few hours, and I'm like, fuck. Well, that's why. Okay, just don't question. Me. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going, mm, and it overheats again. I'm like, fuck. I turn around. I go to Paso. I'm in Paso. And then I start tripping out because I fucking got, like, paranoia and all this shit, like, kick in. And it just happens. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it happens. And then so I'm like, fuck. I'm, like, tripping out. I'm like, oh. Like, I'm like, but anyway, um, so <laughs> I hope this is entertaining entertaining for anybody that watches it so um fuck like there's a cool people coming around but i go to park at this place so i'm like okay maybe i can post up here you know like and i could get some rest you know like low-key like <laughs> and anyway i won't go there right now because my energy level has to be more up before i could clown around but um i park at this old like mo abandoned motel or whatever which is in a really nice city and I'm like, oh, well, it should be fine. They're probably doing construction. I'm just going to park, you know, and sleep or whatever. And then fucking a bunch of homeless people come out and they're scary. You know, I'm like, ah. And then my car overheated and I couldn't get away. And I'm like, fuck, this is turning into a nightmare, you know. So I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to make it to school now. My car keeps overheating. I have to drop it off at the BMW and slow. So I'm going to wait till the morning somewhere. I'll just stay up and then go in the morning to the BMW. Well, it never happened because I got arrested. They pulled me over and they fucking busted me for tear gas, tear gas, which is also known also known as pepper spray. And the reason why I have that is because when I go to my hometown, it's very dangerous there. And if you don't have a gun, you can get gunned down. Like, no lie, especially if people know you or whatever. Like, for the most part, I'm a neutral person, but... Who knows? There could be someone with a wild hair up their ass, confuse me for this person, or treat me like that person, whatever. You know, they could. And so I used to, you know, I used to always, I used to always have a 40 on me, you know, but I never used it because, I mean, I'm a cool-ass motherfucker, but 
I don't like, I mean, if I'm going to go to a little, little Mexico <laughs> or whatever you want to call it, or little, yeah, little Compton or Lompton, it's Lompoc, we'll call it Lompton. But if I'm going to go to Lompton, then I got to have the hollow tips, you know, the 40 with hollows and, and, you know, and my fucking accurate accuracy ready to follow, you know, but, <laughs> um, Anyway, so I got tear gas. I'm like, ah, at least this will give me from A to B, hopefully, enough to, you know, to get away, to skedaddle. Well, so I, that's why I got the tear gas, and it just makes me feel more secure a little bit. So I had that shit on my waist, and the cop saw it. He's like, hey, what is that? Is that a gun? I was like, no, it's fucking tear gas. And he arrested me for that. They gave me 30 days. This was in slow. And oh, this is in slow. And they gave me 30 days with half, and then I did that time. But in that time, I grew so much closer to my girlfriend. It's ridiculous, bro. Like, she, I called her like a million times. I don't know. Normally, jail calls are like $5 each. And if you call for like an hour, you do the math. You know, 15 minutes a call. So you could $20 an hour, you know, out of her pocket or whatever. Like, and, you know, like, thank you. I fucking love you. And I'm not going to mention your name anymore because people don't really know who you are. But you're an angel and you're a blessing. And bear with me, I have insecurities that I'm working on, but that shit dissolves, you know? When I just be real, like the real person, real nigga that I am, then it dissolves. I don't give a fuck, you know? Just be yourself. And then, and then I know who you are, and that's all, you know? And you can do whatever you want, and then I just know who you are. You know, like DMX said, DMX said, let people be who they are, but when you see them, know them. And that's true. Let people be who they are, but when you see them, know them. Because you got you to know who they are. Like, you know, when you see them, know, know them. It's like, okay, I, I know who this person is, you know? Like, you know what they are, who they are, what they are. Well, interesting thing about me is, like, I, I change a lot, and I change with every... I, I deal with people on an individual level, and I treat everyone individually, and... I'm, I'm just like a weird person. I'm a di very different person, but I'm a great person, and I keep doing great shit, you know? Um, everybody, I wrote a lot of poetry and poems. I'm going to publish a book. It's going to be 100 pages, and um, one of the things that I wrote is like, don't be a wise guy. Be a kind guy. Be kind. Be gentle. Be a gentleman, you know? And be good, be happy, and be good to each other. Be kind to one another, like Ellen DeGeneres says, you know. Um, but anyways, um, I did that time and I grew closer to my girl. And that's where I'm at. Um, so I'm going to do one more. It's 13 minutes and, uh, I, and it's a 14. So I got to stop at 14 and then I'm going to start. I'll start another one because I want to tell you a little bit about jail to those who have been there or whatever. But maybe you just need to hear it from me. So, um, yeah. Uh, to anybody that watches this, hopefully you could share my channel and get more subscribers. But not to worry because um, I'm gonna get back on my shit, I'm gonna get this money, and we need to reward the person that's gonna win. I know how I'm gonna do this. And it's gonna be fun for you know it's gonna be fun because a good portion of whoever's on my like most of my subscribers i have now are local they're from slow santa barbara galita um lompo like you know so I, I i will remember them and i will know them so we're gonna turn it up a notch it just takes a second murphy's law is no joke because what can go wrong tends to like to go wrong but it's for the better. Remember that. It's for the better. Blessings are right. Right with Murphy's Law. You know, miracles. Right with Murphy. So, anyway. Um, let me get back. Let me restart this shit.